Welcome back to the den. Here we are in the rooms of La Bourique, who is not at home. That's the good news first, to begin with. We don't want to be disturbed in here, you know what? Uh, we don't want to be disturbed in here, but it sounds like maybe we will be. Hmm, what does he have in that pot? I don't know. My dear brother, if I shall die, I want this piece of writing to come to you so you can understand why you have lost me. Today, I saw the devil. He was in front of me, haughty and full of himself. And his features were those of my beloved mentor. This thing is devouring what matters the most in the world for me, my only friend. Nevertheless, in this creature, I still find a few features of what have been Larsen. When appeased, it finally leaves his exhausted body. Then this is my friend who talks and smiles. That's why I won't attempt anything against him. He takes hostage of one of my dearest. I am helpless against his power, and I am sure he knows it. The devil hides within this house. He had waited for years before he can again feed off a sound and strong soul. And he chose my master for his feast. I am loyal. I always knew I will follow Larsen as far as hell if he needs, to be, needs me to. And the time has come. I didn't think it would come so soon, nor that hell would take the appearance of an old ruined building. But it is known, the beast takes many aspects to fool us more easily. Will I begin to reason as an old Hammerite? When Larsen has told me that the house speaks to him, I have been tempted to smile. But I well know my friend, and know he is not a man to hallucinate. He told me the house was telling him things, stories of glory and power. It told about this treasure, buried for years in the ruins of its birth. And that if he would agree to enter the den and contemplate the heart, it would give him a part of this power. Then he would be stronger, each time and forever. And so he contemplated the heart. I expected no less of him. I know there is a sort of delicacy in Larsen, as there is in everyone anyway. The first to reveal the floor was Garrett. I then believed Larsen was becoming mad. He had only one obsession in mind, to find this thief and make him pay for what he had done by any means, even if it would sacrifice our guild. Today, while Garrett is in our hands, I find again this worrying expression in Larsen's eyes. I know it indicates he is contemplating the great Chaos Heart itself. Now the fortress has subdued him, and my friend goes away from me a little more each day. Larsen has shown me how to open the gate of the den with the gems by activating a tortuous lock system conceived by the old birth hold to protect this viral crystal. If this old man were now in front of me, I would joyfully help his passing. We owe him all our misfortunes. He unearthed this evil gem from the grave it was sleeping in for decades. It was him who awoke the demon. And as Larsen told me, he well paid the price. So Larsen offered me access to the den and much more if I wanted. But I don't want this gift. I don't want to lose myself in submission to eternal damnation, despite the simulacrum of invulnerability. Nor will I sell my soul to a demon for a gem, albeit priceless. If I agree to go through the buried passages of the den beside my friend, it's because I will surely find a way to free him from this ascendancy, from this ascendancy in this evil place. I think the soul of this entity is contained in the crystal, the heart of Malt, as Larsen calls it. This huge sanguine gem is set in the heights of the old palace ruins. From thence comes its damned strength. Ah, Larsen calls me. Once more we will descend into the beast's guts. Once more we will pace its cold and damp corridors to reach the heart. Where, once again, I will see my friend lose a little more of his soul. Barnard, also called Burik. So the interesting is what's written here, Burik. Objectives. A crystal and bolt. Yeah, get that jewel before last end us. Okay. Um, it, ever since uh, the first mission in the series where we were introduced to Larsen and Burik, I was wondering, is that the actual etymology of the term Burik? I mean, Buriks are not donkeys, but uh, I mean, they kind of have a donkeyish look, sort of. I mean, I could see why you might call them that, but what I don't, I don't see... The, the, the verbal similarity is very clear, you know, Burik and Burik. Uh, the 
semantic connection is reasonably clear. Like they're not donkeys, but they're donkeyish. Lizards, right? The missing piece of the puzzle for me to be feel confident about that being the etymology is Thief was Thief was written by Americans. Why would one of them name a creature? I don't know who I don't know who in the team called you know came up with the name Varric, but uh, why would they use a French word to name them? I don't know. Or French I mean it's possible. It's certainly possible. I just don't know how it would be any more than that. Oh some some paper there that's not fully burnt. Okay, let's drop that for a second. Lavoric Watch Penny. I've been worried about him lately. I feel he suspects something about the den. I've caught him more than once asking questions about the Forbidden Sector and lurking near the hiding places of the Red Stones. Do whatever is necessary, if you must. The last time. Lavoric memorize this memo and burn it once it is done. The censors. Obtain the five red stones and then collect the five sense key five senses key, which opens the access to the five locks of the den. Each of the den locks is activated in a different way, one stone for each corresponding lock. Trying to activate the accesses can be dangerous if you do not take care. Access taste. A powerful poison? I could use Berenice's help with this problem. Access hearing. That birth hole was so Machiavellian, I almost died in there. Pricking up your ears is the only possible solution. Access Sight. What are these strange creatures? I've never seen such things in my life. The fortress must have burned them itself. Access Touch. The answer was right under my eyes. The number sequence begins nearest the hand. Access Smell. I fell for this one and got quite a sinusitis from it. Watch where you put your feet. Note. I've put the stones back in their original positions. i put the five senses key back where I found it in the chapel. It is safe in there. I locked the forbidden sector door also. Hmm, okay, so we've got some instructions on getting things. I still, uh, all these banners, all these banners bother me. I see that this barrack is slightly askew, so I wonder if that is significant. What do you know? What do you know? That's the key we need to our sound place. See? And when you're done with it, you should put it back perfectly straight like that, then no one will suspect. Alright. Die here. Nothing. Uh, yeah. Okay. We've got that key. We don't have that key. Oh, that's the door I could not lock right yet. Um, so we're going to get the key from Arsene's room, I guess. And Ar he must be there, right? Got that, too. Haven't got those. I don't, I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle that. If I'm going to tackle it. It's just a few coins. I'm not... Maybe you won't bother. Um, we have the smell and the hearing... locations and the stones for them. I don't know what the taste stone is. I haven't seen any in this area, only the main door itself. So I guess I'm going to head upstairs now. So I guess we're right where we want to be, which we need to wait for these people to patrol in there and come back and then we can get to the stairs. I guess we will meet more guards. Hello, what's, what have we got here? <laughs> oh, it's a nice little sitting spot at the top of the stairs. Now, I <sighs> gotta say, all these all these weird beast statues do make me nervous.
think we've got any uh, darkness there, so let's sit back and watch and see whether this person patrols in here or not. No? No. Oh, hello. Good thing you looked around behind me, huh? 2600. What is the loot goal actually? 35? 3500, okay. I mean, it seems probable that we'll uh, reach it, right? That's okay for me then. That's lucky. One water arrow. Do I spend it there? I don't know. Let's check the map actually. Where am I going? Right, so we've got guards guarding his apartments. We maybe can get through the library? Okay, so this room here is a dead end. a bath. Well, that may still be a value for me. You never know, there might be more water crystals in here. Well, there's one more. But you also seem to have some kind of valuable there. Nice. I like this pipe inset in the wall with the tap there. It's very nice. Uh, and it's set up. Any of these code books perhaps hiding in our secret? No. Okay, so I want to head now. I guess uh, we don't have Bernice's key, right? to knock. Wouldn't it be rude to hit the door with something loud? I mean, she's not here anyway, right? She's down gambling away. Make sure they don't see an open door. There are invisibility potions around, okay. Not just a jest. Healing potion, nice. So the question is, does she have the key that we need to the safe in here? Or is it elsewhere? Everybody has little secret rooms. Not everybody keeps skulls in them. Or murder dolls. How could you? Or banners that I desperately wish to cut down, but still do not have a sword. I can hear someone humming. 
Okay, it's just a lady out in the corridor. I thought maybe Bernie should come back while I was in the room there. Well, I don't have what I wanted to come here for, which was the key. But she got the key on the belt. We saw that, right? So all we could find here is incriminating information, and she doesn't seem to have left any of that around. Oh, we got we got money. Okay, where to next? Dining room, smoking room, library, I suppose, yes. Somebody in the smoking room. Hello, we have another of the tapestries. Fireplaces making everything bright. What? Nothing. Hmm, it's quiet now. And? Too many damn rats around here. Alright, I've got four of these. That was more than one crystal, so... Oh, that doesn't help much. There's our loot goal. The touch. Okay. So we got picked up that Navigator's Globe in the last mission. Never found a use for it. Don't know what the point of it is. Hmm, okay, there is another door into there, isn't there? Ah, from the library itself. Well, that's okay, I think. Just hang back here. Wait for these two to patrol past so I have a little more uh, time. locked. That was fairly dim. Who's making that noise? Fairly dim, but not not completely dim. It's dark enough here, and she does not seem to be moving. As long as we're quiet, we should be okay. Nothing? Oh, damn. Mm. Oh, it's a chess board. I thought it was like the cheese board. I mean, it's spelt similar. Cheese, chess. I'm sure you could get a cheese board, chess board as well. I'm sure people make that. <laughs> well. Hey. 
think so. It's a smallish door, is it not? Feels like it's hiding something. I mean, it feels like it's barely hiding or something, actually. Hello, do you have something on your belt? No, you have something on the table in front of you, which is... Big book. <sighs> Oh. Alright. Keep your books. Keep your secrets. Let me read this one. No. Ah. If we go east from here. No, south. South, right. That must be a way into the last end's room. I mean, I have the key to his door, but. Always nothing. It's never anything exciting. I'm a little concerned that she seems to be reacting to my presence. Despite me being basically silent here. Alright, well, let's see if we can't find some kind of. It's not this painting, is not a switch this time. Some kind of mechanism <laughs> opening this. Aha, there's a lock. I expect the key will do that, right? It's almost, it's almost invisible, but I guess once I'm looking closely enough, it's, it is quite visible. So, what was that note about resetting the beast? A little concerning to me. Well, there's my sword. I'm gonna leave that open in case I need to beat a hasty retreat. New objectives? Good, you have found your sword. It might be useful. Okay, it's a bonus. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of banners I want to destroy with it. Hello, is that a secret peering through the fireplace? From the east? Cobwebs in there. Ah, oh, that's a big corn. Not valuable, what's this? Boss, I beg to report that Vinny is dead. I caught him as he managed to open the secret hiding place for one of the red stones. He had not yet found the stone, so I tried to convince him to stop his investigations at once. But alas, he was frightened, stammering on and on about ghosts and how we were all damned if we should remain in this place. He then attacked with the strength of many men, but I was the victor in the struggle. As soon as my duties permit, I will bury the corpse. La Bourique. Wow, you men are dying like flies here. I mean, okay, one curiosity killed the Vinny, and Berenice killed the rest. Well, two others. Oh, is that the beast? Or what arrows? Nice. Wonder if I could have picked up that sword if I hadn't picked up mine. But no, probably not. So he has a he has a pet pitcher plant. The man is clearly not right in the head. Well, clearly enjoys. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say that painting's not suspicious at all, is it? Rats. Why does it have to be rats? Well, I don't mind rats at all, actually. Hey, ready? This is just the same. Yeah, okay, let's leave that open. So 
I guess it last sun comes up, disappears in here, right? Minutes after entering his quarters. Desk here? Oh, I guess it's a secret office, right? Right now he's supposed to be down in the foundations. Lots of broadheads. That makes me suspicious. Anything you can read? No. Yes. Dear Laura, my success is close at hand. I have discovered the secrets of this fortress and no longer need to activate the five senses to enter the heart. Though I know it intends to possess me, I fear not, as my will is like iron. Nothing can control me. Gaining its confidence was difficult. I have let it think it has tricked me into servitude. I graciously accepted the few pathetic treasures it offered. But it is the heart that I want. A jewel of immense beauty and power. I have seen it. According to legend, the crystal inhales life energy. That is why this fortress seems almost alive. It is my guess that the crystal is like the soul of this place. But a blind and primitive soul, whose only purpose is to divine and exist off the life energy of others, like a vampire feeds on blood. But I will control the crystal before it can control me. Lavarik shares not my confidence in this matter. He worries about me. A faithful friend is he. He believes I am already a slave to this place in the power of the crystal. He is wrong. I visit the heart frequently now. I bring with me only the most strong-willed and fearless of my host, as many of my men are afraid and not yet ready to accept the terrible secrets of this place. But still I must limit each man's exposure to the heart of this fortress. For slowly the heart will consume them, as their will is not as ironclad as my own. Once I have rid the fortress of the stone sentinels, it will have no defences, and the heart will be mine. But I have not yet found a way to neutralise them. I must, and keep my intentions unknown to the heart, and find a way. I must not lose the fragile confidence that the heart has shown me. For if my intentions were to be known, the sentinels would destroy us all. But worry not, I will prevail. Your faithful friend, Larsen. Stone sentinels, huh? I knew I should be suspicious of those creepy statues. I see, that explains the blinking. Perhaps one of them actually was blinking. Hello, we've got another... Okay, that, uh, bitten quarter key, okay, that definitely jump scared me. I can't close that again. Who are you? The house asked. I'm Garrett, look, I'm just here to steal everything, okay? <laughs> Probably not worth your time to possess, really, because, kind of, you know, been there, done that. Actually, that's not true. I don't think. I don't think it's Garrett. I've ever been possessed by a house before. So, you know what? I can do. Is that? Okay. So any secret switches on the desk? I mean, they're probably not, right? We've got what we came here for. There's nothing more hidden. But, um, I guess we go back out. Not creepy. No. Hey. Like that one's super obvious compared to my switches, and uh, I mean it's still not super visible, but it's quite easy to find. It's got a long drop distance, <sighs> and you know, to be, I mean the doorway is extremely suspicious, so you know to look, and that's good, but uh, because you have to find that. To, right, there's no other way to get into the forbidden quarter, I don't think. Okay. 
Tape wrapped tapestry. Am I sure that there isn't anything up with this horn? Yes. Well, there's people guarding out there, so let's not try and go that way, shall we? Somewhere, close up after myself. Okay, I don't know what the beast was. No, it was about. Uh, what's this question mark? Oh, this that's looking through. So what I expect we're going to find is we're going to find the one of the uh, sensors things here in the large office, and that's just letting me see through it. So we want to go out here and to the right. No, I mean. Ah, okay, we want to go straight across. To the right and straight across, because there's two guards right here. What have we been in that? Here was the archway. Yes, I came through there. Uh, do I want to go and start dealing with all the tapestries, or...? Hang on, there aren't guards posted in front? I swore there were. I could have sworn I just heard them not long ago. Yes, I can still hear him. I'm hearing hearing you her whistling. Confused a little here. Still eight moss. This carpet is jumpable, right? That's the that's the living room. <laughs> it's not last sense apartments, which is here to the right. Okay. I'm gonna avoid cutting down all these tapestries because it will spook people. But I need to make a quick run across there, jumping twice, and I need these people not to be in the way, and that's gonna be very bad for me. Timing wise, okay. Go right behind these two. Now, there. I need to get in here and make sure I've got a place where they won't come through again and see me immediately. Oh, hello. Well, I'll come back to that. So I have five. Oh, I've got five waters. They'll be in here any second now. Who was that there? I, I saw something. Oh. Hmm. Who knows what it was? That's a big lever. Lots of secrets in here then. How many secrets in this room? Okay. Too many. Let's start with this one. Aha. Oh, it's... Oh! 
Maybe that comes out here. So maybe the other one of these I found actually had a switch and wasn't cuttable. Maybe I didn't need the one by the kitchen. Maybe I didn't need a sword. Alright, where are we? Let's mark that as a way through. Because that could come in very handy. We start having stone guardians poking their noses out in places. Uh Okay. Just close behind me. I'm not sure if that's timed or that's locked in. Dead rat poor thing. a door that's gonna open when this is when I open this no that's the touch maybe that's not a door Maybe it's not at all. He says, maybe, okay. Rope arrow. Oh, somebody stakes through the heart there. Is that Vinny? Was, oh, was Vinny opening this? And the house is showing me that Vinny is still here. Poor guy. I know where it's a rope arrow, obviously, so I can get back out again. What? What are you. Stick it up there. Right. <sighs> you gonna let me out? Ah. Maybe this one just does close itself, you know, maybe it's just Bad, bad timing on my phone. Hello, ma'am, where are you going? Okay, well, it does just close itself. It's, it's not like, oh, it immediately closes behind you. It was just on a timer. So, slightly less spooky, but... Hello. Well, I don't see a keyhole, but I guess I can... Pick the lock anyway. So wait a minute, which was the which was the stone I just picked up? The taste? No. Is it the touch? Somewhere here. Was it hearing the smell or the taste? Huh, the healing, the smell, and the taste. Oh, they're the only stones I've got. These are the places I've found. No. Smell the hearing. Thought I had another one already. Oh, there it is, the touch. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. This is what we saw from our sense. Okay. It won't 
come close. All right, weird. Okay. Large office. Hmm, so what I don't have is all the locations, right? Of all the tapestries. Or all the stones. But, you know, those kind of go together. Huh? What's going on? I don't want to go out that way. So they no longer have walked together, that's inconvenient for me. Hello? Is there something up with that ceiling? I mean, you could get a rope out of it now. I don't think I probably am supposed to. Just coincidence. Oh, I can use that myself right now. Okay, I mean, am I done on this floor? I've been to every room. I could go back to the dining room. Perhaps. Although, what does that note say? The memo. Access touch. The answer is right under my eyes. The number sequence begins nearest the hand. You know what? Let's try and get back there. So... I guess coming out of the living room is fine. Well, I know we're probably going to have an easier job getting through here again. I suppose. Stone sentinels, huh? Not suspicious, not at all. They've never been suspicious. Alright, so we need to go west. I should put that out. Did we find any secrets in her room? We didn't find any secret passages. Okay, I don't think we would. We only found the... Well, a secret uh, room. Well, the good news is that little... Uh, she stopped investigating, that slowed her down, and now they're basically walking together again. So I guess I meant to do it, you know? It was on purpose. It was a cunning plan. 
all part of my joint plan. Okay, we have this guy in here to be careful of. Access touch, the numbers. Let's remind myself what it says. Don't know what we're going I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. Touch. The answer was right under my eyes. Number sequence begins nearest the hand. What? The touch. How do we use this then? Hello. Speaking of number sequences. Huh? What was that? Me trying to stand on a chair. Hmm. It's quiet now. Dang it. We're gonna have fun gutting you, Tapper boy. He's gonna see me here. You shouldn't let me see you! You're done! Oh, you better you... just keep watching your back! <laughs> okay. Uh eventually find you so why don't you just come on out <laughs> uh he climbed up off me and got stuck poor guy i'm gonna count to three so you better come out one <laughs> two <sighs> i could even got to is he hiding somewhere on this go damn it on this table uh i like i like that Tapper boy. I'm gonna not have to knock him out, I think. We can wait, Tapper! We I'll do. Pretend he was sleeping on the on the sofa. Never mind the fact that he falls through it. Guess it means I can come here and look at this. And deal with this banner as it needs to be dealt with. Okay. Uh, I think the cubes are winning. Alright, now, can I jump on that without... It still makes a ton of noise, but now it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. We have south, west, east, north. One... Two, it's like on a clock face. But how do I get how do I open that? Do I need do I need the key to open that at all? I thought I thought that would take the uh, stone. But it wasn't. Where's the stone? I scroll past it again. What? How many times did it? There we are. Why does that not work? These other ones don't work there, right? Hmm. That's confusing to me. Okay, well, we've got some kind of clue, but we can't open the thing. Maybe we need a key. What was that? What did that note say about the key? There is another key, right? The sensor key. Five sensor keys in the chapel. Okay. Well, I have the key to the forbidden sector door, so I guess we go to the chapel and then we can start doing these. Ah, so back down to the ground floor. Alright.
They're gonna come back through here in a minute, aren't they? Did you have any banners, ma'am? No, okay. Oh, I got out of sync again. That's okay. I guess I'm gonna have to go around this place a lot. I can do what needs to be done. Okay. To the Forbidden Sector then. I wonder, is this one also a secret passage? Hard to say. Doesn't look like it. This isn't Constantine's sword, is it? Looks wrong. The blade should be darker. No, look, it's making me lighter. It's not Constantine's sword at all. It's a forgery. Constantine's sword does not light you up in the darkness. Did I read this? Yes. I've forgotten the guard patrols here. Okay, they come in here and go round. Oh, sorry, there were lots of people patrolling on in this area. And we have the smell room here. Okay, where do I need to go? I need to head... Oh no, I'm on the wrong floor. I do need to go up to this floor. Okay. Get into that area. And head north and west. Just head... <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't need to know. It's not a secret dungeon, it's just looking into there. Surprised. It seems to do that to a lot of people. <clears throat> so your head around there and there's no there's no way to hide in there I go now maybe I can go now Yes. 
Let's make sure I'm not disturbed by any guards in case anything happens in here. I guess that also means I'm not going to be able to get out easily. That's the little window we saw. Nothing to do but go down, I suppose. I feel like I would like a quick and fairly certain way out of here, potentially. So let's make sure we have one. It's a room to the east. Ah, it's a hole in the foundation as it goes to the garden, okay. We have down this way. <laughs> There's a little, a little uh, ledge designed specially for mushrooms. Several of them. And another not creepy at all statue. Note: the first pages are unreadable, spoiled by humidity and age. Only a few paragraphs in the following pages are barely legible. Sir Bertold's diary: Year of the Red Moon. 20th of the 10th. I have descended to the buried palace and I have finally found it. It's a crystal of malt. It must have been there for centuries. It most likely, most likely sunk with the palace during the great earthquake. I am the luckiest man in the world. I have told nobody about my discovery. No one must know. The crystal must be only mine. When I am near it, it shines with the light of a thousand fires. It seems almost... Unreadable. I must protect the crystal. Some people might find out about its existence. And I know of a few rich collectors who would be capable of anything to obtain a heart of malt. 10th November. The crystal speaks to me. I am sure of it. It whispers a seducing song to me. It tells me that I have nothing to fear. They say this type of crystal can absorb the soul of those around it, giving them a great strength in exchange. Now I know it is true. It throbs when I hold it in my trembling hands, and I can feel a beneficial heat. It is alive. But it is not dangerous, as they say. Oh no, it is good and issues absolutely positive energy. I must protect the crystal. 26th November. The power of the crystal has invaded the whole building. It is all around, in the walls, in the gardens, in me. This old palace. Illegible paragraph. 2nd December. I am tired. This discovery has... Unreadable. Me. The crystal is hungry. He asks for more all the time. He wants to see, he wants to smell, he wants to taste. It is nothing more than a stone, after all, not a human being, but I must protect it. 7th November. I have given Suzanne to the crystal. She will give it strength for some time. 10th February. I have protected the crystal. I have built a system of locks, which must all be activated to open the door to the den. That is how I have called the ruins of the old palace. The keys are made of red granite. I have had them imported from the land of malt for pure symbolism. Once the five locks are activated, you can descend to the crystal. Five stones for five locks, symbolizing the five senses, will grant access to the den and the crystal of malt. I have set traps in the access to unreadable and hidden the stones. 9th of February. Suzanne died this morning. I do not want to. Unreadable. It is hungry. It is still and always hungry. 15th February. I am more exhausted every day. Am I going to extinguish slowly like my sweet Suzanne? It said it would protect me forever. The remaining texts. I've erased. That was the house laughing at me. Dropping skulls at me. Keep your skulls. I'm Garrett, Master Thief. I'm not scared. The scariest things that happen are only to lesser mortals. Right, so I saw something next to the candle, the candlestick. <laughs> the 
builder shall smite. The haunted things? No, the, the haunted things seem to have driven out the hammerites as well. Hello? Is that breakable? There's a skeleton in there. Do I try it? I suppose I do. <gasps> Nice balancing of chairs. It's, it's very well done. So who are you? I guess skeletons all tend to look the same, don't they? Ah. Sight. Rabbies, you're not gonna eat me, are you? No. See, we're friends. Oh, Berenice would love it here. So it was a red hole, okay. Funny that that was the sight and not the taste. I think that might be the taste stones or the rats. Check that in just a second. There's nothing behind that door, right? Yeah, let's board it up. All right, we have a garden to explore. That will have to wait for the next episode. So I'll see you then.